Dear former admissions officer, hey, that's me. I've helped students get into a lot of schools in the Ivy League, at schools like Berkeley and MIT and Stanford and so much more. In this video series, I'll be helping you answer all of your college admissions questions. So let's get started. Dear FAO, do you have any advice on how I should organize my activities list so that my admissions officers will remember me? Your activities list should ideally best exemplify what your time at your school will look like when you're not in the classroom, but also what your interests start in your major. We're very aware as admissions officers that a lot of high schools are limited in terms of what kind of resources are offered at those high schools for specific majors. So for example, if you wanna do marine biology, but you go to school in Kansas, just because you're in Kansas doesn't mean that you're gonna have access to a lot of great marine biology labs, for example. So that should not limit the fact that you should have the opportunity in college. So as much as you can, try to show us what are other aspects of marine biology, for example, that you can explore as a high school student in your extracurriculars. There's a lot of really great summer programs that you can do, the biology aspect of it. Are you doing biology organizations at your school? You can always compete and competitions like USABO, right? These are um, ways that you can showcase that you still have an interest in your major without necessarily doing the specific major if it's one that is a little bit harder to access, for example. I would say your activities list ideally should showcase, again, who you are as a person, what your academic interests are ideally, and what you do for fun. We also want to know that too. If you're worried that one of your activities because you're trying to meet 10, for example, is helping your family out, that's great. That takes up time. We know that family commitments are very important. That's okay to include. Don't be Feel like it has to be something that's so metrics and STEM focused, for example, even if you do want to major in biology, let's say, and you don't necessarily have the full 10. Again, we want to know who you are as a holistic person. It's why it's holistic college admissions. So your activities list should be, like the essay, a really good reflection of who you are on paper. Getting into a top university is no easy feat and we're so excited to help you. Every student that joins Crimson is met with a uniquely matched team of experts who are so excited to help you get into college. If you're interested in trying to get into a top college, hit the link below and we'll schedule you with a free, no obligation consultation to help you get into the university of your dreams.